so, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna uh, wear this GoPro on my head. I'm gonna put it on my head. Let me make sure the lens is clean. What I need to do now is to test the angle, see if the angle is right. And this is gonna be 4K 60 frames per second wide angle. So let's see. Uh, it's a lot better to uh, wear the GoPro on your uh, on your chest because you get a better view at your hands and what your hands are doing. But when you move in your head, uh, you can also see uh, things around you. So both ways uh, have their uh, pluses and minuses. So let's try this for now uh, with the GoPro on my head and uh, let's see let's see if I have the right angle correct angle set up so hopefully hopefully I get uh, most of it in the frame let's see I'm, I'm working at the front of my face like this are my hands in there let's see so I uh, tilted it down even a little more so hopefully this is uh, correct uh, viewing angle and let's get right to it before my battery goes dead I have uh, about I have four I have five batteries uh, but uh, I'm gonna use one I'm still gonna use one in uh, in the other GoPro to capture the time-lapse video so I only have four batteries which is probably good for three hours maybe so let's see how much work I can uh, uh, record uh, I'm gonna set up this uh, other GoPro real quick uh, because I, I want to also have it uh, on the time-lapse video so let's see you know it's amazing you know how much time you waste by uh, setting up your uh, video gear you know there's Lots of little pieces involved. Hopefully I won't be needing the, the tripod for my laser. I'm gonna be using the laser laser a lot today. So I'm, I'm actually gonna use this piece for my GoPro. I don't even know what this piece is called. See, I, I have the feeling that I still need to tilt that GoPro downwards even more so let's tilt it even more and hopefully I, I get uh, all the things I'm doing with my uh, what did I do Shit. see this is what happens when you try to do when you try to do things fast faster all right I'm gonna I'm gonna really try to get moving so I get uh done as much as possible while uh wearing the gopro right today is sunday i wanted to take it easy but I, i'm also trying to take advantage of uh, me being here alone and uh, also the fact that it's uh, actually easter holiday all right so it's really peaceful outside there's no cars no traffic it's easter and on, on top of that is the coronavirus quarantine all right so the the public traffic the movement on the outside is very limited so let's set it up real quick so I was gonna also take it easy today, but uh, I mean, I keep hauling ass seven days a week, 
I don't take days off. Some, most of the time that I tell myself, you know, today I'm taking a day off and then I go to work anyway, you know. So, so this is the time-lapse setup, right? I want to be facing this way because that's, that's where I'm going to be working. Let's move the light. This is my DeWalt, DeWalt LED light. It's really heavy, by the way. This thing is so heavy. Not only the light itself is super heavy, but I, I just recently bought this, this 54 volt battery. This is nine ampere hours. You can also use it uh, with 18 volt system. It's backwards compatible. So this is actually 18 volt light and you can use this big battery with it. And this battery is so freaking heavy, you know, so it adds, it adds weight to already heavy light. So it's like super heavy. All right, so this is my light. And what I'll be doing now, what I'll be doing right now is I'm going to be installing this, uh, these uh, two by sevens on the roof rafters. So they're going to be running across across it right uh and the another layer is gonna be in between those and where i'm standing right now there's gonna be a skylight cut into it after everything is installed so uh i need to do lots of measuring i need to uh use my laser and uh actually find the ceiling i already have some markings over there because i already did the laser before so i kind of have the markings at uh most of these uh rafters but i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna redo it anyway so uh let's set up uh, the laser i have a uh, fresh fresh batteries so i should be good for the whole day let me go get the the chair because i need the chair for this which is a lot better for uh maneuvering around than the ladder so i'm just using this light chair to get up and down quickly at things that are not that are uh, that are not that high so this is high enough for my laser which is set up over here so and i'm already missing the the bottom piece for this so i'm gonna have to raise this up or perhaps i'm gonna install a, a new new platform for this so at least in this video it's gonna be obvious uh, how much gear I actually have I'm gonna wear my gloves so I don't mess up my hands so I'm trying to I'm trying to keep my hands nice and clean so I don't get uh, you know cuts and damaged skin and my beautiful nails so so this is my box full of surprises full of gear this is my uh framing nail gun dewalt 18 volt uh 20 volt in the us this is like the best thing i bought it's addictive man this is the best tool in the world so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna either nail it in or screw it in uh, a new separate platform for this uh, laser support for this laser. I'm gonna do it somewhere over here. 
because that's where I'll be working so it's even better I'm gonna have the laser over here because it's gonna be centrally located in this unit so this is the f the first one of the units this is not the first one is is actually the last one but I'm gonna start here at this side so let's see I'm gonna use this gun and I'm gonna build a support for this laser I'm gonna use some of the scrap scrap wood and, and build a platform you know things like these things like these need to be done fast all right let me go grab my chair You know, and this is how I usually haul ass during the week, but not, not on the weekends. You know, I'm not the youngest person and, uh, you know, my body takes tall, you know, from this work. The other guy that's helping me, Roman, uh, He's uh, 53 years old and he's out because he's got like really bad inflammation in his elbow from the work. So let's see, the laser should be like right on the edge. I can't really see, I still need to get up on that ladder. All right, so he's got like really bad inflammation in his elbow from the work, All right? So as I can see, the laser is right on the edge over here. It's going all the way back there. I don't know if it's uh, visible on the, on the camera, but it's all the way back there on that wall. So all this, the ceiling, this is the ceiling. It's all leveled, right? I used the laser before to uh, to level it, so it's all straight. It's tra it's straighter than it needs to be. And now, what I need to do, I need to uh, transport this uh, height onto these rafters. And I actually need to calculate where where these boards are gonna go. I already have these markings here, but I'm just gonna, you know, verify everything. So let me get my uh, tape measure, my other tape measure, which is downstairs again, up and down. That's that's what I need. I'm actually gonna measure this. Uh, from the top, uh, hopefully the GoPro is recording. <laughs> All right, where is my uh, pencil? All right. I usually my pencil. I usually have my uh, radio playing my Spotify playlists but uh today i'm not gonna turn it on because i wanna uh i don't wanna have you know anything uh disturbing the the audio on this so uh, so this is the ceiling and i previously calculated that i need to have this uh 20 now this is in centimeters by the way by the way is not in inches it took me a while to get uh, used to it but uh i'm doing uh, everything in uh, metric system right now so this needs to be uh uh 20 and a half i need to probably use the the bottom see how this is not straight this is actually angling down and that's because this this beam this beam is twisted 
right? So I, I still need to take care of this. I still need to, you know, level everything. This is crazy, stupid work. All right, so I probably need to uh, get the measurement from the bottom. Oh wait, so this is 20 and a half. It's right here. As you can see, I already have it. So I already have that one. All right, so this is the the top uh, two by seven is gonna be mounted right here and it's gonna be angling down. So the bottom corner of it is actually gonna be at the laser level, all right? And on top of that, it's gonna be mounted the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the top plates of the walls and the ceiling and everything. So, and from, from that, from the bottom of that, it's gonna be 50, 50 centimeters to the bottom of the next of the next uh, two by seven all right so this is correct and and another 50 from that that's good 50 from that that's also good and another 50 I'm doing 50 by 50, you know, because uh, this tape measure is very short, it's broken. So 50, let's see, 50, all right, minus four is 46, 50. I already have it here at the at the other side of the beam but the beam is crooked twisted so it's gonna be a little different and 50 you know when you when you're measuring like this you might get a certain discrepancy uh, because you might be adding or subtracting uh, little fractions but at this time it doesn't matter because uh, uh, because there is some play you know and uh, it should be good enough for the drywall the drywall is most likely gonna be in one piece or maybe just one there's gonna be maybe just one uh, uh, one gap so it's gonna be good enough for the drywall so it doesn't need to be like super accurate all right that's what I'm trying to explain it doesn't need to be super accurate so I don't need to go like I don't need to measure it uh, every time from the very top and it's even not possible I mean at this angle I'm actually laying down right now so I can do this all right so this is the this is the last two by seven right here it's gonna be angling down like this so it's gonna be ending like right here and even though I'm measuring it from the top I'm gonna start building it from the bottom because there is no other way for me to do it by myself I actually need to start from the bottom I need to build myself some kind of supports I need to I need to build me some kind of supports at a few places because the two by sevens I have are like really long they are eight meters long this is eight meters uh, how many feet is this it's eight by three it's about 25 feet long yeah so these are really long and really heavy and it's gonna span across the the entire apartment and that was my goal to have it in one piece 
across the entire apartment so uh, I don't have any um, overlaps so I don't have any uh, uh, connect connection points uh, so that was my my goal uh, that's that's why I ordered uh, such a long uh, long pieces all right so so I have this right I've measured this and what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna set up the laser like that so I don't have to measure each one separately I'm gonna I'm gonna build support for the laser for all these so let's do that it's gonna be a lot a lot faster than uh, uh, than measuring everything everything separately well, let me turn the laser off well actually I need it on <laughs> Do this quickly so this is gonna be another another line oops so that's the bottom now let me let me see the top you think building house is easy you you might be wrong <laughs> this is like uh, building a new house All right, this is this is far from a simple renovation set up the laser to uh, to mark all the see this is the top it's right on there I'm just gonna do this just to make sure I got everything out of ah, I don't have a nail Man, this is so frustrating. When this happens, it's really frustrating. When I'm ready to shoot and I don't have a nails in my nail gun. <laughs> this is so frustrating. All right. This is part of the job, man. Always make sure, always make sure that you have nails in your nail gun before you actually have everything set up and ready to shoot. You know what I mean? Because you're gonna waste tons of time re. repositioning everything so that's that let's just make sure I got all of these leveled and I see right away that that's not the case all right can I reach there from my chair Let 
Let's start from the back. Can I get my laser here? Yes, I can. All right, so even the new one, the newly installed beam rafter is already twisting. So I need to mark that as it is twisted so I know it's twisted. All right. That's gonna help me later to decide if I need to if I need to trim it or not. really curious what's it gonna look like on the video what I'm actually doing here so I'm gonna mimic that laser angle like this so this is one this one is crooked the other way Let's see. Oh man, the fucking insulation is in the way. So this is like this. So this one's This one's kind of good. This one's good. I mean, not that it's angled, but the marks that I have on there. And this is my last pencil, so hopefully Hopefully I won't have to run to the store to get another pencil. So this is good right here. And this is good. That's good. This is this is a little off. And the reason it's off because the roof is still moving. You know, we've been adding these these new rafters. You know, some of them are, are new. We doubled the count. So there's always between the two old rafters is one new. Either it's a regular uh, two inch or it's a uh, about four inch right four by seven two by seven yeah new rafters added between the old rafters so uh it's uh sufficient enough to support the weight of the roof all right because previously the the house uh, when it was originally built, it wasn't designed for it wasn't designed for uh, having the attic uh, converted to a living space. All right, so that's that's that, and that concludes the entire length of the first uh, unit. So let's see how far. This 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 board goes should be across the entire entire apartment. All right, from the wall. 
this one's probably a little bit this apartment is probably a little bit longer because this wall is actually actually thinner up here than the wall downstairs but it's still long enough all right so so it's long enough that's, that's what i was aiming for you know this is the dividing wall is right here this wall is dividing the separate units and this board is long enough so this is great i'm gonna do it all in one piece so let's get this out of the way All right, now let's move it down to the next one. I need to build another platform. I'm gonna build 10 of these. Are you kidding me? I don't know if I have this much fucking scrap wood, man. I'm gonna have to go downstairs and get some more. But this is still uh, gonna be faster and more accurate than than if I measured each each rafter separately. So let's do this. Let let's put one on top of another of each other let's put it on top of each other shut up centimeters insurance nail so let's see if I have this let's start from the side here see and I'm, I'm a little bit off so that's why I'm doing this so I, I have everything at the same height and the laser is over, over you know, big uh, uh, lengths. The laser is the best option because you cannot never get this done with just a regular, regular uh, level. So the laser is the only way to go. Uh, I'll, I'll remember that. So that's that. Get this plastic out of the way. See I have I have the roof supported up there. So it's not going anywhere. It's just me, you know, making mistakes. 
or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe maybe the roof is sliding down, and before I get finished, it's gonna fucking collapse. I need to. I need to do this. I need to do this quickly. So that's that. I need to make sure. I know what's what. So this is the bottom. This is the bottom of it, yeah. This is the bottom. Uh, the thicker line is mine. Insulation is kind of in the way But if you've been wondering why I installed the insulation before I'm actually building the structure So the reason is Once I'm gonna put the structure up You know the the crossing uh, Studs uh, there's no way you'll be able to get the insulation in there so This is kind of good. This is good. This is good. This one's good This one's off I don't know What I'm gonna do about all these twisted beams yet But I'll figure it out I'll figure it out on the go as I usually do. All right. So, so that's that. Let's make sure. Okay. All right. Next. I'm gonna need lots of lots of these platforms man lots of these supports laser supports I'm gonna need to cut some of these because I'm gonna need those I don't know let me let me cut this one this is a this is a 2 by 8 as you can see it's all uh, uh, cracked up. See this crack? It's cracked all the way across. I can't use it for shit. You know, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it in pieces. And uh, I'm gonna use this for the Laser supports. It's, it's probably gonna. It's probably gonna break apart. Damage. Look, I can I can probably break it in my hands. See, so that's that. All right, next. Man, I should have turned the fucking laser off. You know, always remember turning your uh, laser off so you don't uh, drain your uh, batteries, you know. That's too low.
go. There we go. That should do it. Oh no. Uh, can you can you hand me that uh, nail gun? Can you hand me that nail gun, please? good right on spot it, it kind of looks sketchy but you know if you know better ways let me know I got this way off man Is this correct? According to, uh, where is it? So, as I suspected, my battery went down pretty fast. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna wear this uh, power bank to power my GoPro so I don't have to keep uh, swapping batteries. I'm gonna wear it on top of my head, which is gonna be lots of fun. I've never done it before, so let's see where I'm gonna put it. All right. I hope it's uh, secured enough. The cable not in the way. In the in the view, the cable shouldn't be in the view. So it's all good. All right, so we're back on. <laughs> let's get some work done. All right, so this is kind of frustrating. I just wasted another 10 minutes of my precious time setting up my uh, camera. And I forgot where I uh, ended. So that's that. So let's do another, another row of this uh, uh, so I need another laser support that battery on top of my head I have a feeling that, that the camera is gonna fall fall off my head I think this is good right here Oh, it's a little higher. Where's my hammer? My hammer. Where am I hammer? Alright. So this is a little higher. I don't need this chair anymore. So let's do it like this. Knock it down a little bit. Oh, 
Shut up. Alright, that's that. Right on the money. Laser is a good thing. It saves lots of time. And uh, you know what? I missed this last this last beam. I missed it. I didn't I didn't mark it. I didn't mark it over there. But it's okay. I can finish the, the end of it with just a level, that's fine. Alright. What's that? I'm pretty sure this video is gonna be it's gonna be good. I mean you can you can relax at the comfort of your home you know, during your coronavirus epidemic pandemic you can just relax at home and watch me working <laughs> all right and watch me working on this unusual stuff you know this is not something that's uh, being normally done this is kind of special special treatment for this house see i i don't have the marks everywhere so that's good i'm uh that's good i'm redoing this remeasuring re-leveling so when i have this uh beam twisted like that and the line is actually sloping down it seems like it's sloping down but when you look from here it's actually leveled all right but anyway what i'm gonna need to do uh when i, when I start installing these uh, two by sevens i'm actually gonna have to shove it off shave it shave it off i'm gonna have to shave it off to make it you know flat straight so uh yeah next next line see i bought this wood from a specialized uh, store and and this wood is crap it's so bad that uh i have to select pieces that i can actually use for certain uh applications for certain certain things like some i cannot use for the floor joist because they are cracked like this and i don't think they would be strong enough so i've been like going through the i've been going through the studs to make sure i don't install any uh overly cracked floor joists I only I only installed the the cracked ones when they were doubled All right So the wood I ordered was like total crap and I ordered the wood again for this yeah those 8 meters long 25 feet long uh 2 by 8 2 by 7s I ordered those again from the same company and they brought me this crap again and I'm like I send them email man I send an email back I mean I don't know where you're getting this wood from but it's it's total crap you know it's bent twisted cracked you know 
I, I don't know, you know, this is fucking headache to uh, waste, to be wasting time on, uh, you know, straightening these, these studs, you know, every single one is twisted and I need to straighten it up so, uh, so I can build a straight wall, you know, and the, the drywall goes on top of that and uh, you know, you cannot just leave it like that. You have to straighten it up. You don't, you don't want to have a, 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 a crooked uh, wall. So, uh, so yeah, I invest uh, extra time in, uh, in uh, straightening each and every single stud. You know, make sure it's not twisted. And it's fucking, it's crazy work you know and the reason I ordered from them again was that uh, actually the previous load that I had was good was in good shape I mean I didn't have to do anything about it I didn't have to straighten it up I didn't have to uh, uh, select pieces I mean I could just uh, work uh, straight up with it you know So I thought to myself, you know, this was probably just a one-time thing that uh, the load uh, uh, was bad. So I ordered from them again, hoping that the wood is going to be as good as the last one. But hell no, this, this wood, this wood is crap, you know. Look at this. This is what I paid for, man. I can I can break it like this. This is this is 2 by 8. 90% of it is like that. It's fucking it's crap. You know. So next the one I remeasured. Right. Don't worry, it's not gonna stay here like this. This this is beautiful. It looks like uh, uh the the bird feeders. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take it off later on. Okay, uh, where's my pencil? All right, so this is the next next row. How many more? Three more? All right, <clears throat> three more rows. I don't see the line here because of that fucking brace over there. All right. I didn't have any markings here. So. I don't know, is it is it in the picture? I don't know, I'm gonna have to verify that the camera is actually rolling. Hold on. Hold on, let, let me check 
Let me check on the camera. How do I check on it? In the mirror? I don't have a mirror. <clears throat> Is there anything flashy? Is there anything reflective? <coughs> Around here. Oh, my phone. Look, look. I can look in my phone. If, if the camera is rolling. Yep. Alright, we're good. I didn't even have to turn the phone on to see if the GoPro is rolling. So we are rolling. Alright. It's better to make sure that the camera is rolling than, uh, than cry later that I've been working all day and don't have it on the video. It happened to me before. Video making is kind of fun, you know. It's another job on top of the job. This is crazy. All right, recently I saw a crazy video on YouTube when a man, uh, British man, British, British man, British man has been restoring his uncle's uh, Range Rover, all right? But he took it to another level. Not only he uh, uh, spent tons of time restoring the car using just the uh, basic tools, Ah, the battery came off. All right, hold on. I gotta secure this better. Well, I gotta figure out how to fix this uh, power bank on top of my head. All right, where, where is the cable? All right, we good? Okay, so that's that. Oh, last one. Man. But on, on, top, of, uh, on top of the uh, restoring the Range Rover, he invested like a gazillion of hours animating the video. It's not, it's not a, I mean, you should uh, go look it up on YouTube. It's not a usual time-lapse video, but it's a, uh, it's a next level time-lapse. The, uh, the metals are bending on its own. The, the welding, the welding process is like animated. It's not like a, I mean, you don't see you don't see the guy's hands doing the work. You just see the material changing, like the the paint is adding, you know, on its own. The welding is pro, pro, progressing on its own. I mean, this is this is like stupidly perfect video, and it does it didn't have as many views as I thought it would for this kind of quality work. But man, I suggest everyone watch this to see how much work is added on top of already lots of work with, you know, doing the actual work like, uh, like uh, what I'm doing. I'm actually, I'm actually working and on top of that, there's uh, work with, you know, making video out of it. I'm blind, man. I'm blind. I can't see that. Where is it? I'm gonna have to go there and look. Because I can see shit. It's kind of far. So th these are the marks. Uh, I need a tape measure. You know, measure twice, cut once, 
you know I'm usually the opposite I first I cut and then I measure <laughs> all right that's it well, which one was it is that it no it's not it I don't know which one it is again. Is that it? Ah, that's it. Alright, that's that. That's it. That's, that's that. That's on the line. Alright, let's do this. Don't try this at home, I'm a professional. All right, so what was I talking about? Yeah, the work on top of the work. See, the best way to do it is to just record a video and do not waste any time editing it on the computer because that's gonna take another you know whole day maybe two days just editing the stuff you know and when i come home from the actual work all tired you know in the evening i mean do i have energy for editing video hell no so so the best way to do it is, I mean, if, if I want to do a, an update or a video like this, just record it and put it up just like it is, you know, without uh, cutting out uh, mute sections or, or mumbling sections, you know, just cut it out. You don't have time for that. Uh, I need to make sure that you know, that I know what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> so it's not it. For some reason I skipped this one. I didn't skip it, did I? the mix up 50 50 50 yeah 50 so it's 50 I think it should be a little lower
fifty. A hundred. What's wrong with it? Fifty. Hundred. Fifty. Oh, man. What the fuck? I mean, can you make uh, a sense out of these? Because I don't. Oh, let's do it again. So this one's good. I need to lower this. To make sure. So this one actually stays. But I'm gonna leave it like this so I don't have to remark it. And that's another waste of time. I'm just gonna redo the last row. Stretch it down. Back to the uh, original markings. Man, the reason it's off is because this beam twist twisted the other way, like on top, is twisted this way on the bottom. Now on top is twisted this way, on the bottom is twisted the other way. So that's that's what uh, threw it off. I should uh, 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 I should use these uh, measurements as a template. Should use those marks. I'm gonna use these marks as a as a template. Uh, all right, so you know it's always good to uh, identify the problem. I'm gonna put little arrows here to uh, <clears throat> to know which uh, mark is uh, correct. And I'll cross it off, everything. So that's that. Not these, this one, the big one. All right, let's not waste too much time, you know. All right, that. I'm gonna have to uh, run in the store to get uh, another pencil because I really feel like I'm running out of uh, the uh, the filler or whatever it's called. Yeah, this is you can press it and it comes out of here, and uh, I'm running out of it. And I just remark, remark the last row. Okay. 
fancy shit. Okay. All right. Uh, what is it? Two more. Uh, two more rows, and I'm done. Fifty is way down there. Well, let me lie down for a minute. All right, is that? Yeah, gotcha. Anyway, it might look like uh, it's really complicated to set it all up, but as I said, uh, this is probably a lot faster than uh, measuring each uh, uh, rafter separately. Plus, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be more accurate this way. This way. I got a pee, man. Oh. Oh. Should I keep my uh, camera rolling when I go to the bathroom? <laughs> See, this one is twisted as fuck. This is gonna be fucking hell. <laughs> the last row is gonna be the most difficult to do. I said this uh, man look at this gap are you fucking kidding me who did that man it wasn't me shit that needs to be filled out that needs to be filled in oh, man, people are stupid I told him I told him man I need, you need to uh, make sure there's no gaps in the insulation, right? 
it's like talking to the totem. You know what I mean? These people are fucking stupid. I mean, it's really hard to find someone. Look at that. Look at that gap. It's really hard to find someone who actually uses their brain. Who actually uses their brain at work. This is like a Mission Impossible 3. You know what I mean? Find someone who's using their brain at work. I mean... When you hire people, you need to be constantly on, on alert, you know, of what they're doing. When you're running a company and you want to get uh, work done, you cannot be working yourself. You really need to... Uh, shut up. Just focus on running the company because when you when you'll be working yourself and not <clears throat> watching the people what they're doing. There's a 100% chance that uh, they're gonna fuck up the work. All right, right on the money. Right on the money. So this, this is an art piece. <laughs> Look at that. That's funny. All right, this is all these all these rows all right let's let's mark the the last row and i got to pee man now let's start from this side Laser beam. one's good see that's that's the reason I put this this board here so I can slide on it that's that's what I had in mind you always need to plan ahead <laughs> when you're uh, building a house you need to have a plan So this is not a this is not a typical house house renovation. This is more like a, a building a new house and and reviving a, a fucking ruin both at the same time. Here, this wood is kind of dark. So, see so how it's uh, at uh, different heights. <coughs> this one's all the way down. Oh, 
how, how am I gonna do this, man? See, we have a situation. Houston, we have a problem. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. So this one's gonna be tricky. <laughs> It's probably going to be even trickier. Where is it? Where is it? Alright, so there's that for the marking, right? Well, let me get up. This wasn't too bad, was it? How long did it take? I'm actually gonna check the video how long it actually took to, to lay it out. All right, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a piece break. I almost forgot to put my camera back on. All right. I look like a fucking astronaut wearing this helmet. What the hell happened? Something happened. Something disconnected. One. All right. So this is kind of fun. All right. Normally I wouldn't have nerves, nerves for, for that. Um. But today, uh, I decided to deal with it. All right. Um. All right, so uh, what I'm what I'm doing? What am I doing? What am I doing actually? What time is it? All right, eleven. Eleven a.m. So what am I doing actually? Even though I measured this from the top, I'm gonna start building it from the bottom because there's no way for me to to do it from top. There is no way for me to lift this, hold it up there and nail it. There's no way for me to do it all by myself. Plus it doesn't make any sense, right? Things are being built from the bottom up. But I measured it from the top to make sure that the ceiling is straight. All right. So uh, uh, this is so frustrating. I just uh, realized uh, that uh, my camera wasn't filming so I didn't <sighs> crap so I didn't film uh, the entire process how I actually got up the first uh, 2x7 alright so I actually what I actually did I installed those uh, supports one two three support let me let me film it from the other side so the light isn't uh, blinding the camera <clears throat> so what i actually did uh, i installed these supports uh, i spaced it out i cut myself a, a bunch of spacers and and then uh, uh, I lifted it up in the middle and nailed it up. Alright, so there's uh, three supports supporting it 
and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna space it out I'm gonna space out these uh, gaps and nail it nail it to the roof rafters and then I'm gonna just keep going up I don't need to angle anything anymore everything is gonna be at a 90 degree angle so from this point from the bottom up is gonna be a lot easier to install install those uh, the most tricky one was the bottom one to establish the correct angle so it's a 90 degree to that rafter and uh, from this point you know it's just, just easy so uh, I didn't realize my camera was off I don't know why it turned off I have it uh, hooked up to this uh, battery power bank and it's all powered up so I don't know what, what happened let me see I don't know if I don't have juice I don't, I don't think this needs to be turned on turned off I think it powers on automatically I don't know it doesn't show this little icon on the GoPro display that that is charging not even not even on the back display so I don't I don't actually know if it's powering my GoPro or not anyway I'm gonna put it back on my uh, head and keep working because that's why I'm here I don't have time to fucking bother with these videos god damn it John light camera action Let's do this. Space it out, space it out. I need a light. I need additional flashlight so I can see underneath that underneath the, the bottom beam because I can't I'm unable to actually see the mark because I'm stupid I'm stupid see I didn't really need to see it but uh, oh, let's see I only need to push it down like quarter inch, it's fine. <sighs> this thing is fucking killing me. Alright. It's gonna actually push itself down by me. By nailing. Space it out. Too much so 
doesn't push it out. Maybe I need some differently shaped spacers. If you are wondering that this is not a solid enough uh, connection there, don't worry about it because it's all gonna be supported from the bottom. All right. I might uh, add some uh, brackets later, but for now, it's good. I just need to stay. I just needed to stay up there. See, I didn't even need to uh, cut it out. I could have just leave it as it is. As it was. <coughs> God damn it. This freaking insulation is killing me. You know, building is. Dusty business. That's good. Building. Push it up. It's almost straight. That's perfect. I think it's better than what I thought it was gonna be. Battery fill up. See if I shave this off, 
I could have it uh, completely straight. Uh, all right, here's the middle of the room. It's right here, so it's not gonna be noticeable at all. So that's fine. That's fine with me. That's good. So I can lay on this top because that's where it's touching. This is the lowest point right here. John, you can do better than that. No, I can't. I used to. So this is this is better than good man. I'm pretty happy about it. I didn't think I'm gonna come up with a solution like this. There's a low point down there. I need to straighten up the next row a little bit. All right, so this is the bottom. <clears throat> How much lower is this? make how many supports I'll be using four one two three four four right so I'm gonna make two of them quarter inch longer to kind of straighten it up all right 50 minus four is 46 so I need four of these 
This one's cracked as fuck. <coughs> All right, we'll, we're, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. This battery on top of my head is driving me nuts. But anyway. I need this. Uh, this. And I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use this tape measure. That. <coughs> oh, so, I wanted to make sure that everything is uh, at a 90 degree, 90 degree angle. <coughs> Six. Two of them a little longer huh? in the middle. So this is right angle. Forty six, forty six and a quarter. I just said it. I just said it. Six and a quarter. Let's see. Hopefully, it's not too much. L. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember that because of those fucking nails. This one's gonna go there. This one's gonna go here. One, two, three, four. 
Is it, is it, is it evenly spread? Is it evenly spread out? Maybe this one here. I need to put it in the middle of the insulation. I cannot put it on that beam because I need insulation to be covering that. So I kind of need to put it in between, in between the beams, right? So, so this is kind of evenly spread. All right, let's nail it up. <clears throat> Immature at work. Uh, it's uh it's an immature hour. You know what I'm saying? Not light. Where am I gonna be nailing this? Here? Yeah. So this is like the middle. to do is to lift it I'll lift it set it on top of that on top of those uh, blocks the first row was fun Just 
temporarily nail it. Stay. It's there. Stay there. <laughs> this is great. It's unbelievable. Looks like it's still short. <coughs> it's okay, I'm gonna space it out. So, here. <coughs> here is touching good. Huh? It's right on the mark. It's good. Okay. So these blocks are gonna go right to it. All right. Right there. Well, I thought it was going to take longer than that. So this looks good, except this one is short. what it is a quarter more inch if I look from here it's straight well, it could go down I can push it down so this
It's on the mark. <coughs> this one's not. It looks good. Na značkách píču. Whatever. Okay, I need a tape measure.
was this 51. Because of that. Yeah, because that was lower. Okay. Alright, so it's a little bit off, but it's okay. So the next row is not gonna be. Alright. Next. <coughs> Do I have more scrap wood? I probably can't. I can't use these. Look, look. This is what I paid for. Ah. I can't use these. Alright, so I need to start cutting these instead. It shouldn't matter because I got about 10 more, 10 more pieces, 10 uh, spare, 10, 10 extra pieces, <laughs> so I can cut it, I can cut it with confidence. Okay. Six. Four to six. Six. Forty-six. Let's see, this one's actually gonna get uh, cut out, but it doesn't matter, I need it in there, so it shouldn't bother me. Okie dokie. Can you believe that? some shitty wood. If, if I don't see a crack on that wood, it doesn't mean it's not there. It's always there. 
Maybe it's from the other side. are cracked. Sucks. See this one? Fuck me, man. It's cracked as well. Fuck me, kurva. Piece of shit. Look, I can't. I, I can't use that. Fuck me. in hell this one's this one's cracked as well I can't use it <laughs> so anyway I emailed the guy uh, who's selling me this wood, complaining about the quality of it and demanding a retribution. You know, I asked him, uh, offering me some kind of discount for for the trouble. But he has not responded, <clears throat> and it's been uh, since Thursday, I think. So, uh, I'm not even fucking kidding, you know what I'm saying? I mean. I spent so much time by uh, uh, selecting, pre-selecting the wood. I don't know if I can use it for this, for that. I already mentioned that. I spent time, you know, straightening it up. I spent, uh, I used more nails for it. not responded yet so I'm gonna keep bothering me <coughs> I'm, I'm gonna keep uh, bothering him until he, he uh, fucking gives me this uh, discount you know because look at that look at that See this? The crack, the crack usually covers most of the board. This is this is ridiculous. How, how is this even possible? How they? I have the the fucking nerve to sell these to customers. 
this is ridiculous. Anyway, I'm gonna use it here because I don't have time for messing around with uh, wood or whatever. You know, I just need to get it done. All right, so uh, let's see. I don't have any spacers, so let's let's put it up. So higher and higher I'll go, it should be easier to put it up there. happy about how this is turning out you know what I mean Alright, I need spacers, spacers is what I need, <laughs> this board is short, is the one I cut. Whatever. <clears throat> Should I take it down? if what if I took it down nah it's too many nails but uh what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to even it out. Where's my saw? I'm gonna do this.
I'm gonna do a little adjustment because if I shave this off might be able to straighten it up and it won't be bowing down at all so this section right here is gonna be hidden right but from up here Let's see if I can... If I can push it in a bit... bigger hammer for that now push this in <coughs> it's not going any further This should uh, kind of even out a little bit the the bowing. Now this is almost perfect. This is very cl close to perfect perfection. Uh, I need spacers and uh, I need to attach that to that. So. Let me see. What do we have down here? 
What do we have here? All right. Got this. Got this. that happening here it's good spaces. Spacers.
Skipping these because there's gonna be a window opening, gonna be uh, cut out. <clears throat> so uh, I'm skipping these. If, if I need to add a spacer there, I'll do it. I'll do it later. No need to. No need to do one when uh, I don't know if it's gonna get cut out or not. <coughs> Next. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shave this one. And maybe even this one. Let's see if it helps a little bit <coughs> with uh, straightening it up. <clears throat> so shall we shave it here? And here. So when the when the light starts uh, flashing like that, it means it needs a it needs a new battery. But anyway, these big 54 volt batteries they last forever. I mean, this light I mean it lasted for what four or five hours on just a single battery. <coughs> God damn it. This is not the coronavirus. This is the insulation dust. <laughs>
Show it off a little bit. All right, so. Let's put up a uh, next row. See if I can find one board that is not cracked as fuck. <sighs> this is driving me nuts. All right, this one looks good. No, it's not. <clears throat> There's a crack. Shit. Let's cut this section off. I'm gonna cut it off. <clears throat> this is what I have to deal with. This one is gonna be 42. 42. So this is 42. See, this is crazy. Today I told myself I'm just gonna lay it out. I'm just gonna measure it out and see what's it gonna look like. And out of nowhere, I'm working. Full throttle. Full throttle. This is crazy. <clears throat> On Easter Sunday. It's too much, too much. Okay, well. cracked <laughs> 
It's okay, this one's gonna get cut out, most likely. Most likely. These were just uh, temporary and they all need to go. I planned this. So, I planned this. We are moving up. This is what I'm doing. Hopefully, this uh, roof rafters won't be bowing down too much. But anyway, that's why I'm doing this first. So uh, I can later, when I'll be building the walls, and I'll be uh, attaching <coughs> the top plates you know, and then and then raising the two by fours you know that's when I can actually push the roof back out and lift it. so Something's not right. Something's not right. Excuse me. Where's my uh, tape measure? What the fuck happened? Why is this 49? Jesus. John, god damn it. Come on, John. You can do better than this. You can do better than this, John. Ah. Ah. 
46 46 I must have uh, swapped the 6 for the 9 because the numbering is uh, uh, upside down That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Attention. This one's better anyway. The other one was uh, cracked. So this is better. Well, the problem is I fucking nailed this way up. Want to guest? How uh, crooked this, this this board is. This is great.
see how it holds. Huh. You can't take it down, man. Get this spacer out because I realized it shouldn't be there. It shouldn't be there. Oh, neither this one. I don't even need to use those spacers. I just realized. Next, next is a piss break, and maybe you realized I'm not even taking a lunch break today because I just wanted to get this done quickly and go home. So I got one, two, three, four rows, six more. Maybe I can do it today it's a it's a challenge and i'm up to the challenge <laughs> all right i'm back so let's do this quickly I got two boards that I started cutting 
and they are both cracked as fuck. Look at look at all these cracks. Yeah, look at this board. It's cracked all the way here. And then again starts from here. Cracked. Yeah, this one. Cracked. Yeah. This one is cracked as well. A small one. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I can't I can't use it for the small pieces. You know, so I'm gonna set it aside. I'm gonna use it for the ceiling later for for this ceiling. It's, it's not supporting any weight, so it shouldn't matter that these boards are cracked like this. All right, so let me find one that is not cracked so I can uh, cut those uh, uh, little blocks. Let me see, this one, this one looks good, hopefully, that's ridiculous, that's ridiculous. Not forty nine. Not forty nine. Let's add those spacers just to, just for the peace of mind. You know, just for the peace of mind. When the walls are gonna be 
pushing against it. God damn it. God damn it, John. Is that? All right. Is that? How about the next level? level? How about the next row? Should I, should I uh should I shave these? Should I shave these?
That's good. That's awesome. crooked so it's always better to shoot it to nail it to the bracket to the block first and then to that because the board is twisted so I need to straighten it up first did it help? nope That. And the same over here. Yeah, that's how I need to straighten up a, a crooked board. Okay, let's see, is it, is it straight, it's pretty much, it's pretty good, considering the, the distance, the length, I could have shaved it more over here, I can, I can still do it, let's get a different blade. That's gonna save me a lot of work uh, afterwards. This is making me deaf. I need, I need my headphones.
for some reason sometimes the, the gun gets two nails I don't think it's the gun's problem I think it's the nails problem you know to unstuck it so it's stuck right now it won't work right so this is a little tutorial how to fix it just lose these two it's pretty quick fix but uh but sometimes it's pissing me off when it happens four times during the day you know just because the nails are not lined up or whatever so lose these lose that pull it out and pull, pull. don't try to push it in because it's gonna get stuck even more all you need to do is catch it in your pliers and pull it up and it goes right back down all right and it's fixed put it all back together and and you're on, the, on your way back to work Two minutes I think so where <coughs> okay I need spacers right here I didn't I almost didn't need any spacers I didn't do this side yet but on this side we, we are flat <coughs> except here for this right here and for this is good enough so now this is pretty good line this is nice considering the circumstances I'm very relieved that uh, this is working out because I had nightmares about it how was I gonna even out the uneven roof rafters so this is how <laughs> this is awesome forty six, not forty nine. But this is making me deaf. I need my 
headphones. Not forty nine. I should move this over here. I'm gonna put it over here. Yeah, that's how it should be. <clears throat> I should have moved these over here. So that way they will stay in place. It's all right. I'm going to just add some later on. Today, I just built a prototype. Prototype, you know. Today I'm trying to figure out everything and uh, tomorrow and the following days, you know. It's gonna be a, a smooth operation. everything out today look at me look at me in the in the shade I look like a fucking Martian <laughs> should be all all over here I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that tomorrow 
and I should probably add another row over here so when I when I cut when I cut it out these won't move so uh, yeah no problem no big deal so let's put in a, another row it looks good from over here yeah let's use the cracked ones if this one's good, I'm gonna spare it. I'll keep it for later. I'm gonna use the cracked ones first. This one's cracked. This one's cracked right here. So, ah, oh, use that one. By the way, I have a total of 70, 70 pieces of these 25 feet long two by sevens. I didn't shave it. Do I need to? Probably so. It helps even it out. So I'm gonna shave it right here again. Figure it out.
That should do it. Yeah. This one's too low. Ah, damn it. It's not going anywhere. This is good. I like it.
<laughs> this is almost perfect, man. This is crazy. This is incredible. <laughs> See how this one is cracked? That's fucking bullshit, bro. So, I don't have a way how to secure this, so what I'm going to do, this is cracked a lot, so I'm going to reinforce it. Yeah.
Looks good from over here. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm gonna do after it's all installed, I'm gonna see this is pretty good. There's like almost unnoticeable difference which doesn't need any attention, but over here I need to fix that and you know I'm gonna need to determine I'm gonna need to determine like what needs to be raised and what needs to be lowered you know but I'm gonna do all that after all these boards are installed uh, and let's see over here This is where the wall is gonna be. Like right on top of that new rafter. And this is totally straight. So I'm gonna build a wall here first. Then I'm gonna build this wall at the end. And then also this wall at the, the other end but I'm gonna make sure this is you know as straight as possible so first I'm gonna build these walls to support it so the roof isn't moving anymore and after that <coughs> I'm gonna straighten up the rooms so that's that, that should be that should be the plan for that because if i if i uh, straighten if i level it if i straighten it up first and then i push uh, the rafters up with these walls you know depending on how much is bowing down i'll be pushing i'll be i'll be trying to push it up all right so after after this is straightened up you know the walls after the walls are straightened up i should be straightening this up because if i do it first and then i lift this this might uh change again so yeah i'll, I'll do it like that it'll be fun it's not that bad this is good all right what time is it Twenty. So I'm probably not gonna finish it. I'm probably gonna uh, wrap it up. I'm gonna wrap it up for today. 
it's Sunday anyway, but tomorrow full throttle. All right, so I just wanted to try this out, uh, build a prototype. I see this is this was a good strategy to install those blocks first and put it on top of that. This was good that that actually keeps my 90 degree angle on those rafters. So this is good strategy. So so it's not going to take me that long to install these. So I like it. I'm actually now I'm actually looking forward to to work tomorrow, but uh and fo and following days. But uh till till this till this moment, till this day, till today, you know, when I didn't have this figured out, I was pretty stressed out. I was pretty nervous about it, how it's going to go. So this is cool. This is good. All right, I'm satisfied for today, so I'm going to wrap it up. And uh, I'm gonna go home, uh, edit the videos and put it up and chill. I was gonna fly a, a drone today, but it would be just too much for me today. So I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get some lunch and chill for the rest of the day by the computer today and uh, tomorrow uh, another chapter of this house. So this is it. Let's wrap it up. Thumbs up. Uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching. Signing off. <laughs>